Hello guys, this is Tapsan Ishmael. The global replace tool in Visual Web Builder allows you to replace old content with new ones without you necessarily having had to go through all the pages to do that. So let me just show you the global replace tool. So I'm going to go to tools and then under tools, right under site tools, you see global replace. So let me just go ahead to click on it and then let's take a look at some of the properties available with this particular tool. So once you open, um, you click and open this particular um, tool, that is the global replace tool, you see a couple of properties available in here. First of all, you see the scope that is under pages, where you click on the drop down arrow, you have current page and then the entire um, website. What this means is that if you want to, um, let's say, change a particular content out of what you have in here, and you want to do it either on your current page or not, or the entire website, you can actually use the global replace tool to do. And then the object that supports uh, that's the content placeholder system. You have drawing tools, so you have the tools and the drawing tools can be replaced. You have form tools, you have images, um, you have jQuery UI, um, login tools, navigation, text, all that. And then recently there's been addition of page properties. So this tutorial is going to be about page properties and then how to use that. So before we continue, let me just go ahead and close this and take a look at some of the options available with page properties. So if I right click on an empty space on the canvas and go to the page properties, um, you realize there are a lot of options available in here. And in general, we have the title and then and so on. And then when we come to styles also, we have the colors and then the other properties available and then meta tags and then miscellaneous advanced and events. Now with the global replace to what is going to um, make it a bit handy has to do with the tight and um, the text part of um, the page property. What I mean is the part where we can input text. So for instance, we have the title where we can type in text. We have the page name and um, the menu name. And then we also have the um, author keywords, description, categories, and then and so on. What we'll be doing has to do with the title and then the keywords, description, and the meta tags. I'm um, sure in case maybe you're working on a site, let's say you have about uh, a lot of pages on the site and um, you want a situation whereby you um, after typing in your page title you want to be able to add something different to it so with a global replace tool it makes it much easier but you should um, develop a strategy you are going to go about to do that so what i simply mean is that so should I, in case um, this is my home page and let me just change this to home page and um, let's say i want to maybe add my company name so that is that's an HTML web hub and I want to be able to do this across all the pages on my um, project let me just go ahead and create some additional pages let me just create um, some let me just move this to the left and expand this a bit and then be able to move this to the left so it becomes a main um, page on its own let me do this for this one also so let's just say this is maybe my about page so this is just about and then this is going to be services and then i continue to make this um, that uh, portfolio and then finally i make this one um, let's say contact so i want to be able to go to this um, all these pages to change their page title so under normal circumstance i would have done about maybe about us and because i want to add maybe that's an HTML web hub i'll probably have to type in that or maybe copy and paste that so let me just um, change this to about us and just add the S to it and then click on OK. And then let me come to services. And then when I come here also, I'm going to change. Maybe let's make this one our services. And then when I come to the portfolio page, I want to be able to change this to portfolio. So let's say this is portfolio. And then finally, I would want to change this one to contact us. So this is going to be contact us now i want a situation whereby i i am going to put some kind of keyword as part of my page title um, so when i come in here as part of my page title so that maybe in future i may not i may necessarily don't want to use uh, let's say um destination or maybe as part of working on my project i decided i want to use destination but probably i'll be using something else so i want to be able to change that simply or with an, uh, with an ease without necessarily having had to go through all the pages to do that. So all what I'll do is, I'm going to develop some naming convention for this. So I'm going to change this to, let's say full name or maybe uh, C name, C for company, so company name. I just change this to company name. 
and then click on OK and then come to the about uh, page and then uh, let me just write here also so let me just type C name and then uh, let me copy this also and then click on OK so let me come to the services page and then um, put that here to be C name so I click on OK and then um, come to portfolio and then um, put this one also to be C name and then click on OK. Let me just come to the contact page and then do that also. So let me just put that here and then um, C name. Now, using the global replace tool, I want to be able to change all C names on all the pages. So in case I have, I have a lot of pages, let's have 100 pages and then I have that um, the C name. I want to be able to use the global replace tool to change that. So what I'm going to do here is just come to the global replace tool and I'll select everything here and then the only thing I need here is just the page properties. I'm going to check the page properties and then I come to the property. Now when I come to the property, what exactly do I want to change? What I want to change here has to do with text. I want to be able to change all text content on all my page properties on the entire website. So what is then the old value? The old value is simply C name. Now what do I want to use as the new name? So the new name is the company name I want to use which is Epson Ishmael Web Hub. So this is what I want to be able to use for my um, my page title as part of the title of the page. And um, if you remember the page scope, do we want to just do this for this just this page, or you want to be able to do this for the entire website? In my case, I would want to do that for the entire website. So I'll be like, I'll go ahead and then hit on uh, replace. Let's just confirm that if that works. So I'll come to page properties. And as you can see, we have that here. Let's just go to the index page also to verify that when I come here, I realize that works here as well. Now, the page property, which has to do with text, doesn't just work with the um, title. It also works with the page, um, that is the menu. And then it also works with utter, the keywords, description, and even, um, I think, um, yes, yeah, user defined also. So yeah, let me just click on OK. And then using the same process, I'll come here, deselect everything, select the page property only. I'll keep the property on text because what I want to change has to do with text. And then let me just type something here. So this is my new company. Then I'll go ahead and then hit on the replace. And this is going to change all the C name on all the pages on my website. So let's just verify that. Um, let me just um, C name. Let me just come here. So this is, yeah. This is my new company. This is my new company. I, I realized this didn't change because this one has to do with the code. And then also this is part of the navigation. So probably this isn't as part of the normal text that you have in the head section of your code. So as you can see, we had that change for the keywords. We had a change for um, the outer. And then we also had that change for the description also. So this is one way you can go about um, changing, let's say, um, the titles of the of your page or maybe even adding um, information to your project by just simply using the global place too now before you can go ahead implementing something like this you might probably have to develop some kind of naming conversion just like i did before starting your project so that it makes it easier for you to be able to change almost every keyword that has um the, a similar name or almost all the words that has the similar um, similar name something like this on your project so that it makes it easier for you to go about that so that should be it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now